Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time we snuck through Kimbobo Mountain. Ooh, or I don't know. But I ended up grinding off screen because the enemies were injuring me. Uh, but I think that was a little more difficult than I wanted it to be. Anyways, I only went up a few levels, so nothing really has changed. But having more manpower would be nice. Uh, the inn is blocked off due to the ceremony the town is having. There's no pushing, you're not gonna get any closer with all these people packed in here. During the last ceremony, Akafubu made the jewel float in the air, but the mouth of the great go ga ga Gabamba did not open. Gabamba? I don't know if I'm saying this crap right. What is this? So we obviously need to get to the great Gabambo, and uh, yeah, that's probably where we'll find the orb. And I can see Pierce took this path too. At last, the sacred night has come. Akafubu becomes Kim Ka Kimbobo's new witch doctor. All of you pray in the depths of your hearts for my success. I'm not gonna lie, this music is kind of catchy. It looks like the initiating cer initiation ceremony is beginning. I'm not sure what will happen, but we better hurry, Felix. And there he is. Who, who are you? What are your intentions? It looks like Pierce has already forgotten us, huh? I know, we met Pierce when he was in jail, and it's not like he had lots of visitors either. Wait a second, I know you. You're the travelers who came seeking me when I was in jail. So you do remember. What are you doing in this place? Actually, that's what we wanted to ask you. We were worried about you, Pierce, so we followed you here. And that's what brings you to this dangerous place? What's that supposed to mean? We came here to help you, Piers. Why are you being like that about it? Tell me something. Exactly when did I ask for your help? Silence. I shall now present our jewel to the great G Gabamba. <sighs> oh, great Gabamba, please accept this, our humble gift. Please, Great Gabamba, accept this jewel. Look, the Great Gabamba has noticed the light of the jewel. Why, Great Gabamba? Your prayers were weak. Open your hearts to the Great Gabamba. Oh, man. Take a shot every time I have to say that in this episode. Sing your praises and dance for the Great Gabamba until your prayers reach his ears. Akafubu is no witch doctor. He's an adept. I may have to confront him to get my orb back. I may have to fight. I will do whatever it takes, but I will have my black orb back again. It's no use. We can't get to Akafubu from here. This won't work either. Where are, where, what are we going to do? We can't get over there. Pierce is in trouble. Shouldn't we try to help him? Maybe if we could do something about that stump, we could reach the backside of the Gabamba. We've got to help Piers, right, Felix? Then hop to it. Okay, here we go. Ugh. That power, was that Synergy? I knew it. I should have spotted it at once. You're adepts. Wait, so does that mean you're... Yes, my name is Piers, and I too am an adept. To be honest, everyone in Lumeria is an adept, and not just me. What's Lumeria? Lumeria is an island that lies in the center of the Eastern Sea. Wait a second, you said Lumeria? I've heard that name before. Now that I think about it, so have I. Of 
course, it was Lord Babby. He often spoke to me of Lumeria. He said it was so advanced that we can scarcely begin to imagine what it must have been like. You are correct. My home was and is all that you say. Whoever told you this knows much of Lumeria. But wait, if it's so far away in the middle of the ocean, how come anyone knows so much about it? It is not easily reached, and we Lumerians seldom leave. I cannot imagine how anyone could have learned anything at, at all about us. Except, hold on a moment, Babby? I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, yeah, everyone knows about Lord Babby. He's the ruler of Tolby. I've never heard of Tolby until recently. I had never left my home of Lumeria. Fears, are you just playing games with us? Don't be foolish. What would I gain from lying to you? I'm being quite serious. Fears is not playing games, Jenna. You can trust him. Thank you for believing in me, Master Sage. Please, call me Kraden, Peers of Lumeria. And I am the one who should be thanking you. You look puzzled, Felix. You are probably wondering what I'm talking about. I thought as much. If, Babby, if what Babby told me is true, Lumeria is all that remains of a once great civilization. Your friend is correct. In fact, the reason I was sent to Vale was somewhat related to my inability to find Lumeria itself. I don't understand. What was in Vale that had anything to do with Lumeria? Babby believed that, in Lumeria alone, the power of alchemy remains unbound. Lord Babby had need of Lumeria's alchemy, but despite our effort, we could not find the lost city. Since we could not find Lumeria, Lord Babby sent me to, the, to unlock the secrets of alchemy myself. Ah yes, Babby. If I recall correctly, a man named Babby came to Lumeria long ago. He stole one of our ships and fled the isle. Yes, that must indeed be the same Lord Babby who no, now le no, no leads the people of Tolby. What? Somebody fucking typoed here. Now I'm even more confused. This is making my head hurt. I mean, if Babby really stole a ship from your home, why would he be trying so hard to find it again? I can't expect you to understand, my dear. Lord Babby's reasons for finding Lumeria are complex. But if he already found Lumeria once, why doesn't he just go back the same way? Once you have left Lumeria, finding it again is quite difficult, even if you know where to look. Well, why? The waters around Lumeria are wrapped in a perpetual fog. It is very difficult to navigate. I remember Lord Babby once saying something to that effect. Even if one locates Lumeria, getting through the fog itself remains quite a challenge. I don't get it. Why can't you just sail straight through it? The ocean currents around Lumeria are swift and treacherous. Only one who can sail a Lumerian ship can complete the journey. But Babby stole a Lumerian ship from you, right? That means he can sail it. You said yourself that he used it to flee the island. Unfortunately, Babby was the only one of us who could use the ship. You see, Lumerian ships can only be helmed by adepts, which is why I have to get my black ore back. I must be able to captain my ship. There may be something up ahead on this path. Then let's go. Wait a moment, Pierce. We want to help you get your ore back. You intend to help me, Kraden? I am on this quest for many reasons, one of them being that I wish to see Lumeria. If you would allow me, that is, I'd like to visit Lumeria myself. If this is something you would do for Babby, then I cannot permit it. What? Why not? Babby is a thief. He is not well loved in Lumeria. It is partially on behalf of Babby, but there's more to it than that. I want to go to Lumeria so that I can see the full power of alchemy. I want to aid Pierce so that he will take us to Lumeria. What do you say, Felix? You'll do it? Splendid! I appreciate your offer, but... I understand, Piers. You're not sure if you'll be able to take us to Lumeria, is that it? Can't we talk about this later? Yes, yes, of course. For now, let's just get that board back for Piers. Piers joined your party. Alright, finally some extra firepower here. There we go. That probably will fix my issue with not being able to rest at the inn. And Piers has most of the Dejin, I think. It's a dead end. 
but this was the only path. Isn't it a little strange that there would be a path that just goes nowhere like this? Hmm. I see. So that's how it works. Listen up, Felix. Dig there. I see. What's this? Someone has put something in the ground here. And the statue. Well, take a look. Well, Felix, try using scope around there. Ah, I thought so. You thought what? These marks are here to indicate an entrance there in the center of the design. You mean we can go inside this statue? You could at one point. The entrance was probably beneath that stone. I wonder, was this the only one? It seems that way. Man, if this is the only entrance, then I feel bad for the people who built this statue. Why is that? Well, if this is the only hole, then there's no way for air to get in or out. It must have been really hot when they were working in there. I hadn't even thought of that. We must inspect this area carefully, Felix. Jenna has raised an interesting point. If people did indeed build this, they would not have been able to do it without an air supply. There, they may, might have opened a vent somewhere nearby. And if so, then there may have been a ladder to enter the vent. We should try to find it. Creighton, there doesn't seem to be anything of the sort here. What were we just looking at? If there is a vent shaft, it would probably be quite old, maybe even buried. Exactly like those marks we just uncovered. And if that's the case, we should search this area more thoroughly. Okay, Felix? Alright, we've done it. It's the Goombobo statue. Goombaba? I don't know. And the enemies appear even further. There we go, some more firepower is definitely helpful. Speaking of having Pierce though, what items is he holding? Not bad, but I wonder if I can give him anything else. It's a mimic. And it's wielding a strong fantasy move, Tornado. Why won't you die? Why? Okay, see, that's not fair. That's so sad and depressing. I know this is hard mode and all. But no way. A hard nut? Ugh. I still died. Um, 
We'll be right back with Jenna fully revived. I can't go through this whole level down a person, and I just started. See you in a sec. Alright, I return with everybody kind of healed up. Every All the enemies still like to attack Jenna for some reason. But I did discover something interesting while I was doing all that. It turns out peers will leave your party if you try to exit town with them, which is interesting. So, on that note, I think it would be safe if I don't let peers die while I'm in here because he's just gonna bail on my party. Like, couldn't they have, like, made me leave town farther out? Because the sanctuary guy is kind of a decent distance away. Basically, the number one goal here is to not let peers die in battle. But either way, this statue sucks. This sucks. Die! Ah! Now, this is what I call cheapness at its finest right here. Look at that. Look at that axonine bullshit. Did I seriously just die again in one single hit? Fuck you, hard mode. I did learn something quite interesting, but as for Shiva dying, I don't know. I can at least fix that because, you know. Jenna, on the other hand, maybe not. I, can, I can't do that with anyone else. Oh, uh, come on, don't be doing that now. You guys clearly, she wasn't alive before. Don't be attacking her now. There we go. Down for the count. Okay. Uh. Oh, man. Uh. I feel like I'm trying to assemble something. Here we go. Stop that cog in place. Oh my god, a fat little baby. Look at him. Look. Look at how beautiful he is. Ah, oh, shit. And a salamander. Not an another beautiful one. Wow, the enemies are getting really strong. There we go. A death head. Man, no wonder the great Gumbo Gumbobo doesn't work. He's shit all over the place in here. These monsters and junk. Uh, what the hell is this thing? A red demon. Oh, by the way, Shiva learned tornado while I was uh, off camera. Die! I shouldn't have to go all out on regular enemies like this. Okay. Okay. 
fine. I got this. I'm gonna survive. What the hell? A little mousey. Mm, that was probably a hint, but we'll brush that off. Until next time, I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.